<laughs> you need the mic. What's up, sucker? Once again, we're live. Uh, we're back again for another episode of the What's Up Sucker podcast. We've got me and uh, my buddy, my uh, producer and co-host, uh, comedian extraordinaire, uh, Josh Cabaza. <sighs> What's up, sucker? What's up, man? So are you happy? Am I happy? What am I happy about? About What do you think? Trump. Oh, am I happy? Yeah. No, I'm not. It doesn't make me happy that... Uh, you're talking about him being found guilty on 34 counts and all that shit? Yes. No, no, I'm not happy. You know, I'm like, whatever. Like, it's, I don't have a party. I don't yeah. like the dude. I'm not happy that this dude's going through this bullshit. I think I would, I would be happy if he just got out of the way and quit all this chaos that surrounds him everywhere he goes that would be i'd be happier not that if he's if he's in trouble or not in trouble if he was in a in a badass island in epsteinville with all these fucking all the miss america chicks and just living it up i good for him i couldn't care less either way i just um it's probably no i'm probably less than happy because there's probably a lot of bad shit gonna follow this like uh, what like I've I'm already seen on, on social media people that are just like how it's it, I mean I hate to talk politics dude but you know how all the the Trump supporters are so quick to call Democrats sheep right right but I'm so quick to see when something happens with Trump where they don't even, they're blind, they, they're so in love with Trump mm -hmm. that now that they're posting I'm more MAGA than ever. Right now, you know, I've, well, now I'm more, but, but they're just, just because he got convicted, they don't know any of the story. They just know they love him. He got, for the exact same reason I could Listen, say. you got to realize Trump is a time traveler that yes. came here specifically for this time to save us. Okay. I thought we were talking about real shit. That's what, what hey, I, you, you talked about social media. That's what I saw on social media. Okay. That he's a time traveler. He's literally, this is, this is what some people believe. He's a time traveler and he's here to Get us out of this deep state okay. reptilians that are trying to eat babies. Okay, that's okay. Now on the real, like on real rational adult talk. That's I don't why why live in the gray? Live in the extremes. I don't have those are fun. That's not fun. Those because are I don't want to live in, in any of them. I don't yeah. want to be in the political world with listening but to you Trump have to be and all that. i don't have to you be. have to be in the political world because when you get on your phone you see it when you talk to people you but see i'm it. saying but but i don't dwell in it Let's even on your own way. podcast look, look at you see that dude i just won that mean, means another republican got convicted every time this goes off there's been another <laughs> conviction. <laughs> i just got a text uh oh it's on my phone i just got a text about that now we have to work harder than ever because i forgot some democratic uh uh whatever that they're running for i just saw the text but it was something like along the lines of we have to now work harder than ever to to what and i'm I, that's what i didn't read the rise i just read the top part of it we have to work harder than ever coming yeah. back to you and to i'm just like i'm week. like to do but to do what it's like are we rallying the troops what's happening right now it's it's uh bro it's, it's fun this is fun this is scary and, We're, and it, if this is fun and then it's getting ready to be excitingly really fun. fun yeah because really november's fun. right around the corner and it's going to be a politically charged environment everywhere we go you know why it's fun for me because i've lived in this conspiracy world for over a decade oh, and not only that and now it's coming into the forefront of mainstream news which is scary and again at the same time very fun because it's like ah. I feel like that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio one, the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where he's constantly going, ah, and he points at the TV. I feel like I'm doing that every day. And you're uh, about to be in the most politically charged city in Texas. Oh, it's great. Yeah, you're it's about great. to be there. Because you don't know what crowd you're going to get. You can get a uh, the new Rogan-type crowd, and it's definitely much more conservative. And I love that they get my conspiracy theory stuff. And they follow me, and then you still have your old school hardcore. Not even, I wouldn't even say liberal, like totally different. Let's go socialism, communism, and then you try those same jokes in front of them, and they laugh at it, but for a completely different reason. They think you're a fucking moron. So I'm like, oh, this is great. Well, I don't like back to your original question. Am I happy? Yeah. Because no, 
No, I'm not, dude. Actually, it's sad. Is what it is, honestly. It's sad that... It's sad what it's doing for the long term. If everyone's so con- concerned about the future, mm-hmm. it's sad because he is making a mockery of the court system, the justice system. At the same time, every time he comes out of there and says it was rigged, it's a farce, it, it was a jury. You know, yeah, he they, said they, he's very innocent. Yeah, and that all that. And the all that. So, line and, ever. and then so it just creates doubt after doubt after I'm doubt very innocent. upon our whole <laughs> justice system. Yeah. And it, so now whenever someone's facing a trial for anything, there's going to still be doubt. You don't ever know if this fucking person was convicted. And I don't, I've been in prison, dude. I don't want to see people that are innocent in prison and people that fucking need to be in prison n- not be in prison that's so crazy if he can't vote and well he wins you know what i mean yeah that's that you know what i mean it's like first felon president well yeah before the first female president but they said a very real i saw someone that posted this thing that said facts mm-hmm. that oh, that's how you know it's true that he could but anyone could make up any poster and put not it not if you put facts so. Yo, my bad. That's you right. put facts? facts? They did say facts. Yep. Question mark. I didn't know if there was a question mark hidden in there somewhere. No, if it, put, if it, put, and it could have been. And, and, and and there, but it could be. Facts. And there's no community notes but, on it? Then yes, But it could true. be facts? Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I got you. Yeah, 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 so yeah. so another, another one was just convicted. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm starting to feel happier. Um, so it said facts, and it said that if convicted, uh, if he could still run for president. Yes. That even in jail, he could still serve as president if he gets a jail, a prison sentence. Mm-hmm. That he can also pardon himself and while he is there, too. So that those are all facts. Mm-hmm. And so I was just like... Well, those were facts. Yeah, I'm just wondering if, that, if, that, if that's true... Well, I can run. I didn't. I didn't know that. I. I thought I couldn't run. You know, I guess I could run too. Damn, he's running the biggest gang from inside a prison. That's crazy. That's literally the biggest gang ever, dude. Because imagine if he was president in prison. Yeah. And the gang said, "You know what? We're gonna get the president to join our gang." You'd be a what? And then he just pardoned everyone. <laughs> Everyone in that fucking gang. Yeah, he would be. I wonder how much perspective he would gain. He went to Muslim services and all. (laughs) I wonder how much perspective this gives him. And when he does come out of jail, there's like crazy prison reform. He's not going to jail, for one. He's not going to jail. Even I I saw, I've I've seen a few things about this. Home arrest? No, no. That most people. You were home arrest at the White House? I know. (laughs) Rough. Most people. Uh, even just not presidents yeah. that have this type of charge. <coughs> um, it's a nonviolent crime. Right collar crime. First time offender. That, yeah, first time offender that he would be given probation. Yeah. And even the average person would be given probation in this situation. He might have to have community service. Yeah, I love Steve Trump coming through here picking up trash, though. And shit like that. I'd like shit on the sidewalk and have him fucking have to clean. I mean, on the. The curb, so city property. Why would you shit? <coughs> so Trump would have to clean it up. I guess, but that just seems just because. I feel like they would just get a water bottle then and go like if that you asked over me, it. Am I happy? Well, if, I don't care if Trump had to get his water that he was going to drink pour it. I'd be happy. And if you said, "Hey, are you happy?" Then. I'd be like, "Oh well, yes, Josh, I'm happy." And then with a stick, move the turd off to the side. Yes, turd. It'll, it'll this move, stick moving turd. Turd by, moving by stick. Biodegrade. Well, depending on the kind of shit you have, if it's full of diarrhea, then he just gets water and goes. No, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd make sure. I'd eat a lot of fiber first. Eat a lot of fiber. Yeah, I would. I'd okay. make sure I have plenty of fiber in my diet, and I'd go have a good, healthy steak. Yeah. Uh, and potato, mashed potato. Oh, I had steak and potatoes. Get yesterday. some greens. I would still get some greens involved in it, dude. Um, I and would get salmon some corn. on a plank. I would get corn, just like I know how you like to, to have see corn in your caca, like in your early. Comedy. I've been seeing. Have you been seeing these TikTok and Instagram and Twitter things about uh? Corn and the vegetables or fruit ain't real and they, they get like a piece of watermelon and they bend the shit out of it and they're like the fuck or they get a banana and right. they're like what the fuck is wrong with this where fruit where are they getting it from from the grocery store <coughs> uh, I've never seen that never and seen if that? I got a banana and did that it would break and yeah that's like what it's supposed to do that was the whole point it's like what yo what's in our food like why the fuck are that's we that's fake there's someone taking a rubber banana over there and doing it's that. not a rubber banana it's it it's the banana just pulls differently 
I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen and it. And the watermelon does that too. Oh, and then what the what so the what people were doing was taking paper towels and they cut the watermelon in half. They're like, this is what a regular watermelon should do. And they push the paper towel in it and they show the paper towel and it's slightly a little bit red, but it's mostly clear with a tint of red. And then they do it on the other watermelons that bend like that and it's like dyed like like if i poured this on top of it and they're like, like real, what real the red like really really red i have i don't know what kind of fruit fallacy you're trying to fucking promote here on my it's show. not an hub i'll tell you that i don't know why you're you're trying to create this hysteria this mass hysteria uh live my, in the extremes bro it's so much the funner. fruit the fruit hysteria the of 2024 fruit. due to edwards uh, what's up sucker we're pocket. low on chickens and that's what's up like, does your chicken have antibiotics? I can if, if my chicken was foghorn leghorn and it was running around banging all the other chickens and it might have been catching STDs, yes, take some fucking antibiotics. They're please. killing all the chickens right now. I know they are. 4.2 million of them. Yeah. Off with their heads. You know, they, they hired a bunch of people from ISIS to just <laughs> one at <laughs> one a time. time. For, <laughs> <laughs> for but, chicken. Yeah. Damn. Uh, yeah. And dude, I saw this documentary about the philippines yeah and they eat this stuff called pag pag p-a-g p-a-g pak 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 have you heard of it no i just thought they say it okay yeah pak 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 and you what it is okay you know that jolly bee that Phil, that chicken place right here on, on summit right here no on the access road have you seen them it's a it's a fast food chain restaurant kind of like a church's size thing but it's jolly bee it, what it is it's filipino based is it good chicken yeah it's decent um yeah i mean um, yeah it, um, but I ate there one. Someone brought in it was Jolly Bees, and I was like, oh, that was pretty good. But um, Jolly Bee, KFC, Jolly Bee, KFC, and some other. When people go eat there and you get uh, three piece chicken, yeah, and you say you eat, you know, you eat it, and it's always some people don't get all in there, and there's always a little bit of chicken on some, especially girls. Yeah. But it, well, they get thrown in the trash. Uh huh. This lady goes and gets in the dumpster the next day, stays overnight, yeah. digs all that chicken that still has meat still on it, collects yeah. it all, takes it, washes it, and then puts flour and salt and batters it kind of again, and then refries it, refries it, and then sells it again. In the Philippines. In the Philippines. There. No, the restaurants are in the Philippines. They don't ship them from the United States. Oh, you mean saying the Jollies here. Okay. Go. No, the Jollies are over there. And that's Pak Pak. That's called Pak Pak. That's just refried. Old food. Old food. Trash. They, yes. Well, that's gross. That is. Yeah. And the dude was there doing the documentary. He said, well, I'm going to try it. And he was, they were like, because they were talking to doctors saying like, what's the harm in this? And he was like, well, bacteria grows. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and. Oh, the stuff. Spoiled. Could, yeah, exactly. The, that, the uh, grossest one was the one that I forgot where they had a really bad mosquito problem and they had no food. So they take these nets and they catch all these mosquitoes and, then they, fry and they make it a patty, uh -huh. of, of a mosquito patty, and then they fry it and they eat that. It's just, ugh. I saw one where they were doing it with the larva. Yeah. They had all this, all these, they had a tent like with all these fly and then the other, they had these pieces of wood with the, the flies would go in there and leave their larva in there and then they get the larva like maggots like big maggots and then yeah. they would get in they would fry all of that and they were the dude was sitting there eating them as uh, people talked. would think we're gross because you eat lobster right yeah yeah but apparently lobster back in the day that's disgusting yeah because it's, it's a bottom a like, roach come on to the yeah from out of the ocean be like oh this well, is delicious that's the same reason people well, don't I eat catfish uh, people don't eat catfish for the same reason because it's a bottom feeder Oysters are worse than catfish, right? I would guess. I mean, you know who told um, Gobert? Uh huh. Because um, Jew, Jewish people in kosher, yeah. um, and they don't eat and they don't eat pig. Shellfish. They don't eat pig either yeah. because it's a dirty animal. Yeah. Um, and stuff like that. But um, I was like, lobster is delicious. So just chicken and beef, and only certain parts of the beef. Yeah, yeah, the, that. And fish. The, the delicious parts. You can eat fish though, like red and. Yeah, but flounder. they don't eat. But catfish, they don't. Catfish, they don't. Yeah. Or I guess flounder would be in the same thing, huh? Flounder's a bottom feeder, right? Fuck, flounder's really good. It's real gamey, though. Flounder. But did you know flounders, when they're born, both of their eyes are on one side, and as they flatten out, they move to the same. They're on different sides. I mean, their eyes are on different sides. 
And then as they flatten out. You know what? That makes sense now. And they flatten out. That makes sense now for uh, the movie uh, Little Mermaid. Because it was called Flounder. I was like, why are his eyes all on, you know what I mean? One side. No, I've never seen it though. You never seen Little Mermaid? No. Oh, okay. It's a good one. You should watch it. I'm a grown up fucking adult. I watch it as an adult. It'll, it'll make you think different. Yeah, I don't. I just stopped watching this. <laughs> but <clears throat> on another note, man, before I forget, before I go any further, I want to. Uh, Give a shout out to my boy Richard Ochoa, man. He passed away yesterday. A real Richard, man. I've known him since we were kids, man. I met Richard when I was probably like 13 years old. I think he stole Joe Henry's bike. I think he had stole Joe Henry's bicycle and sold it to Mark. And and then we met Mark riding Joe Henry's stolen bicycle. And we all started hanging out and uh Richard was just a fucking wild dude from the from the neighborhood, but he was a cool ass friend, man. And uh, we had been friends. Well, he started going to prison in high school. He was just wild. And then uh, every time he'd get out and we'd hang out, he'd have his issues, you know. He he got his problems, but he was a friend, you know. He was a good dude, man. And uh, it's just fucking crazy, dude. Fucking. I remember one time he came over to my house. We were, must have been like eighteen. And he goes, check it out, dude. I stole this Mazda truck. And uh, I was like, what are you going to do with it? And it was right when it was getting dark. And I, I lived right across the street from Jefferson High School. And I go, what are you going to do with it? He goes, I don't know, man, but I got to get rid of it. And I go, I dare you to go do donuts in the field, the football field at Jeff before you get rid of it. Say, say I won't. I say, you won't. <clears throat> and chill, he, he takes off and goes, and it's just starting to get dark. So, so people are just like leaving the field because there wasn't lights out there at, at night. And you hear him get back and there's a fence. He tries to go through the fence. Into the fence. And there was a big curb and he backed up. Over it again. And then, and then but now I'm there watching. Oh, what the fucking neighbor people start coming out of their houses because it's loud. Yeah. And people are standing out in the front yards watching, looking across the street, and, whoo, and he backs up again. Whoo, and the fence lifted up, and he went halfway through it, and the truck was stuck on the curb. Yeah. And he gets out, dude, and you see him, he gets out, and he opens the hood and pulls the battery out. And, and I'm standing in my front in the street. All my neighbors are out, dude, people are all looking, and he comes, gets out and comes walking straight over towards Walking? Me. With the battery now in his but hand. But not, not running, no. <laughs> kind of fast walking. No. Okay. <laughs> and he's got a heavy-ass battery. Yeah. And he's walking with it. And I'm like, oh, shit, he's walking right to me. And everyone's like, what the fuck? This maniac in the truck stuck there in the fence. And he walked, here, dirty, I got you this battery. And I was like, what? And he goes, I know you need a battery. Here, dude. And he gives you the battery. And he just takes off. Then he takes off running down the street. And I was like. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude? And did the, did the cops come to your house? No, no, no. They didn't come to my. They didn't come to my house or nothing. But that dude was just. Did they catch him? Not for that. No, they caught him for every fucking thing else, dude. But you know, one time we. You think it was just an impulsive, very impulsive dude, guy the who, dude, if you, you bet him to do anything, he'd do it. You couldn't. <sighs> Richard was so crazy. One time, I don't know, I guess the statue of limitations. Is yeah. Over. We were we were teenagers. We were stupid. Like, one time, I was with Richard and some dudes, and they had a stolen truck, and they were going to put it through this fucking building, and they didn't want to do it. And I remember that Richard would do it, and Richard just sleep, dude, in the back, in the in uh, the back seat of another car, and I go over to him and I go, "Hey, Richard, get, huh? Get up, what's up? Get over there, get in that truck, and drive it through that." Thing. <gasps> okay, just, <laughs> just work. It is fuck. Another time, we, did you get caught for that? No. <laughs> and and all right, confess one, more of his crime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another time, I remember we. We had gone and done something, and we had all these these bikes, and the vehicle we were in blew out a tire. 
So um, we had to go get another one. So we told Richard to wait with all the bikes while we went to go get another uh, truck to pick up the bikes. And uh, we come back, and that dude's right there riding, doing wheelies in the street, and all this shit on the bike. Like, And then we had, like, dude, the dude was just fucking... So that mainly had to do with ways of transportation that he was fucking with. No, he didn't. It wasn't like he got around on the bike. He was just fucking crazy, dude. He just, anything you told the dude, he just would, he didn't have to worry about uh, him not having your back. But sometimes he, like one time we were at a, we were at a, the I don't know yet. And we're, he tells me, come here, man, we're going to play these two dudes pool uh, for a shot, a game. So, okay. So um, we play them. They're two youngsters. They were like 27, 28. Me and Richard are both in our 50s. Oh, this is recent. No, we'll say this was about, you know, maybe about six, seven years ago. So maybe we're about, we're about 48. Yeah. And these dudes are like 27, 28. Um, and so we, um, Richard's already kind of buzzed out, I could tell. Anyway, I, I didn't get into the bet until it was already on, you know, and he needed a partner. And so, all right. So, and we played like shit, both of us. Like, all four, and no one can fucking make a shot. Finally, we win. So they have to buy us a shot. Now the dude's mad because these are younger dudes and buying a shot means more to They're them tab, than, yeah. than it meant, means to us, you know. So they're all upset. So Richard says, well, you want to you wanna run it back? Double, let's play again. And then the guy's like, all right. And Richard goes, well, y'all got to rack them. So the dude racks him and Richard tells him, Richard's all buzzed out and he goes, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, break and I'm going to make that eight ball in on the break and you're going to owe me a shot right now. <laughs> and bah! He, he breaks. And nothing happens and that dude goes, ah, ah, you owe us a shot. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. He goes, yeah, yeah, you do because you said you were going to make the eight ball in. And you didn't. Yeah. I said, so he was just talking shit. Now it's your shot is all it yeah. is. No, no. You know, because if you would have made it, we would have to buy you a shot, right? Yes, you would have. Because that would be the end of the game. Because that would have been the end of the game and we would have won. Yeah. The, they wouldn't have been shit talking. He would have been right. Yeah. And he was like, so no, so he didn't do it. So y'all owe us. Oh, one of those real technical dudes. And he was just being, st- I don't know if he was being stupid or he really didn't get it. Yeah. And so it starts this argument, dude, like that. And the dude wouldn't stop that. We owed him a shot. We owed him a shot. And Richard, now Richard's fucking... Well, technically, you don't owe him anything. It's we didn't owe him The game's still on. Well, I, the game's still on, but I'm saying even if, if he you went with what he said, it would be even. You wouldn't owe him a shot. Well, he bought us a shot. We took oh. the... They went and got us a shot. We took oh, okay. a shot. So we he wanted us to buy them a shot is what it was. Okay. And uh, so they started arguing, man. They started arguing, and then all of a sudden, Richard's crazy. Yeah. And he's not a little dude either, you know. You know, he was that time to, you know, he's about 5'10, 190. Yeah. And wild as fuck. And so he's like, well, what's up, motherfucker? And then that, but sh- really, these kids were fucking wild too. Yeah. They were like, well, what's up, motherfucker, too? You know, and I was like, yeah. no, nah, shit. But the p- people at the bar, they know Richard. Yeah. So they were like, hey, I don't know if they knew these other dudes because I had never seen them before. But then they were like, hey, man, y'all chill out and fuck, dude. And, and Richard, I'll fuck you up and all this stuff. And the, those dudes had to leave. Uh, actually, Richard left. Richard's wife was there and was like, we can, let's just go. And, and they leave. And I don't think nothing of it. Yeah. And then I hang out for a little bit, finish my beer, and then I go. But when I leave, those two dudes follow me out. And they they came up to me and they were like, one dude, go, they were like, what's up, man? Where's your friend at? And I was like, well, he took off, dude. And he was like, I'll send him leave out the back. And I was well, so that dude told me, one dude says, well, I know who you are. I said, well, he goes, yeah, I know who you are. And he goes, you're little Edward. I go, huh? And he was like, well, I'm a, what did he say? I'm so-and-so from Ghost, Ghost Body or something. Mm-hmm. And he goes, you know, and I was like, no. And he got offended by that. Yeah. That I didn't know because he thought like I was going to yeah, yeah, you know, you know exactly what I was like. No, I don't. Yeah. And uh, I thought some shit was going to go down, dude. I was like, fuck, dude. You just caught me slipping, dude. Yeah. 
it caught me slipping, but then people were coming out still, and then we, I just got out of there. But uh, fucking Richard, man, I was like, dude. But then, you know, Richard passed away from, I'm going to say he, he, he passed away from the COVID vaccination. It paralyzed him and it just ate up, attacked his immune system for the last two and a half years. But... Because it happened immediately after that? Well, yeah, yeah. It happened within a week of getting the the vaccination. He's, his legs started going numb, his foot. And he got he, only one or he got two? He got two. I think it was I think it was after getting the second shot that it's, his legs started going numb. But right before that, uh, he was involved in a home invasion. Some... Uh, People went to his house, like, in the middle of the night, banging on his door, yelling sheriff's department. And when he opened the door, it was fucking uh, some dudes wearing black masks and shit, all in black, came in uh, uh, asking him where the drugs were. And then they tied up him, his wife, I think his granddaughter, and his, and his daughter, and tied them all up. And then at some point, I think his daughter escaped out a window. And so those dudes freaked out and... and took like his car and took his you know, took his car keys and took his car and took um a TV I think but they he said they kicked him they stomped on him on his back and stuff while he was laying on the ground yeah so they were kind of thinking that maybe when he got the vaccination that that back injury maybe had something to do with it and cuz neurological that he was going losing feeling you know yeah but um they couldn't pinpoint it, dude, the whole time, dude, and no one would say 100% that it was the vaccination. And, and I would go see Richard a lot, man. That was my bro, dude. I love that dude. And he said it was a thing called transverse myelitis where the vaccination had a adverse effect on him and attacked his own immune, immune system. system. And he's just been in and out of the emergency room since. Where he was at an assisted living house right now. God dang, dude, I can't believe that dude went through all this fucking bullshit, bro. He did like 28 years in prison of his life to get out, get the vaccination, get paralyzed, end up in his own personal prison for the last two and a half years about, and then to die because of it. How long was he out before? I don't even know if it was a year, dude. I don't even know if it was. So on. he went back after. He was in during the pandemic lockdown, I think, cause but I'm saying, like, because you guys were playing pool together, so... Oh, dude, yeah, he had gone in and out. He had been oh. back and forth multiple times. I mean, I mean Richard's probably been to prison five or six times, you know, so he would be back, He, you know. Um, but God dang, dude, he... And, and I know people sit there and go, well, you know, he's not in pain anymore, you know. Like you just heard my buddy saying, well, he's not suffering anymore. But yeah, that's true. But but he was still in the fight. He was still in the fight and there was still a chance, you know? Yeah. That he was going to come out of this, dude. And I always g <clears throat> gave him hope whenever I talked to him. You know, I told him, you know, we're going to go play handball. We're going to go play pool. Go fucking have a beer. Just be on my podcast, you know, and just yeah, do some shit again like we did as friends, man. And. Fuck, dude, that's fucked up, man. That's Richard, Vernon, Mark, Charlie O. Shit. If there's a clan in, in heaven or wherever the fuck they went. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh, damn, dude. That's what, in the last five years? <sighs> well, Mark was a... a well, but Mark has been, I got speedy, and Mark's been 10 years, um, but uh, Vernon just died um, within the last couple of years, Yeah. and Charlie O just died within the last few years, and then Richard died yesterday. That's, yeah, man, it's fucking bombs are landing close to the fucking neighborhood mm -hmm. <clears throat> i mean at a certain age like i uh you know friends just start you know yeah passing away i've 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 had i never had anybody like i've had relatives close to me die before but then recently in the last 
five years I've been having friends die. And that's like, oh, yeah, I didn't expect that. And, yeah, and it's weird having you know comedian friends. Israel, when you know Israel, Israel, died. yeah, um, Larry, that, Larry, you know, that, yeah, I um, had my friend uh, Spear died. Clay, Clay, yep, you know that's then because those were just un, those were. Not on uh, all of them. Unexpected. Larry's and Israel weren't like unexpected, but no. they were young, dude. Clay's freaked me out. Yeah, Clay's was unexpected. Like, what the fuck? But those dudes were, you know, they were all young. Yeah, they're, they're just like way too young to be dying like that, dude. Um, I don't know. It makes me fucking wonder. And I haven't gone to go get a fucking a culo guard check or whatever. Um. You should. I know. I need to. I need to just go. for fun. I know, just for the pure enjoyment of it all. For the shits and giggles, bro. For the shits. Yeah, I gotta the, go back. I was supposed to go back three years ago because they found polyps, and they took them out the first time. But I heard was, they planted tulips. They planted tulips, and now they're they've <laughs> <laughs> they've blossomed. Did they blossomed. You gotta cut them out. You gotta cut them out. The roots. No, it's because there's a lot of colon cancer and. In your family? In my family. Everybody's cool those all fucked up. Really? Yeah. Bunch of assholes. Bunch of assholes. And so, yeah. Uh I'm supposed to go back. I just haven't I haven't done that. I need to though. Hey, have you done it once before? Yeah. They they took that uh, I took the the whatever you take cleans you out. Oh yeah. And the, they go the and cool they clean. put they no, they don't they don't they don't they didn't you clean yourself out. Yeah, I know. They give you that cool yeah. clean drink. And then uh, you go and um, uh, they put a camera in your butt, and then they go and they snip, snip, whatever's in there. They just put their iPhone in yours? Yeah. They use an iPhone, and they look with a little light, and they blow it in and go, and if it sounds like, you know, a little bit of a whistle, then they go in and start snipping. So I gotta, I'm got i supposed to go back. Yeah, I, I need to go do it. I, I, it's it sucks if it's a uh unavoidable thing and you just waited to the last minute you know t- and you could have lived i don't plan yeah. on dying yet dude i mean i don't uh my, my wife has always told me that you're not gonna you're not gonna die young and i was like and what and leave you with the kids is that what you're worried about yeah that's, that's what she's saying <laughs> and you die alone is that what you're scared of? no you're she's scared already about? thinking about the next guy she'd have to marry <laughs> she's like fuck yeah, with three that. kids I'm like, it's San Antonio. You'll oh. find someone. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be that hard. For yeah, you. it's just a shoot. You'll find them right now. But no, most of the men in my family die in their 60s. So that's the part she's worried about. So you have something to look forward to? Yeah. I was like, they all got problems with their heart and their ass. And I'm like, there you go. They're all hard asses? Yeah. <laughs> got problems with hearts and ass. Hard, hard asses. Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's weird because my dad never exercised, smoked, drank, eats whatever. Yeah, and he's still here, dude. You know, he's he's eighty one. You know, I mean, if you if even if you don't smoke and don't drink and you exercise, but you're just constantly hating life and you're just like, wow, well, you're 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 mad all the time. You make it a long time. Exactly, you're not gonna make it a long time. That'll get you first, I think. How come then I know so many old angry people? <laughs> I guess my <laughs> there wrong. is, dude. There's a lot of old bitter anger. You're like, die, motherfucker. Like, they, but they enjoy their anger. That's you people know. people think, oh, they're just angry, they hate everything. It's just like, but they enjoy their hate. Versus somebody who is like, oh, they're a nice person, but everything's like oh, gripping on. You're constantly in a the t- tension and the stress. And you you know what I mean? That that guy who's like working two jobs to provide for his family and just always smiling and never lets it out. He's holding that shit in. He's going to die from a fucking heart attack. And that's the one that dies? Versus the one who's like, fucking, I hate this. Fuck. He's letting it out. He's letting it out. And he enjoys it. when something bad happens. Like, all the, when, like for the people who hate Trump a lot. You know what I mean? And they're just so happy about it right now. They're getting so much joy you, off of this. Do you hate but Trump? But it's hate. I don't hate Trump. Do you like Trump? I don't like Trump either. Because it's not about it, it will make America great. It's about. I think it's about his legacy. It's all about him and his legacy. And that scares the, the shit out of me. Why does his legacy scare the shit out of you? Because uh, I don't... I don't it, it's kind of like the... 
the bad one that you already know the the what is it the devil you know versus the the one you don't i guess you know what i mean <laughs> The I don't devil know you know, meaning up, like you're telling me the phrase, not me. No, yeah, not something like you. that. The devil you know, or whatever. And I'm not saying I, I, fuck no, I don't want Biden at all. But it's like you're not giving me any options, options other than the RFK. And it's like, is he gonna win? Probably not. So it's just like what a, the the Democrat nominee, nomination, the Democrat nominee, uh, or the it, or is the RFK gun going under a uh, independent, independent, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what his uh, being scared of his legacy means. And I mean, no, I'm saying that, like it's I I don't like put the country. But what what leader would put the country first? You know, I'm saying it's he can't be embarrassed. He like that that the the bravado and the man like he has to. Yeah, he's a, he has to win. He, he has to win. And the the added benefits is probably a better economy, you know what I mean? And and but it's like at at what cost? At what cost? Uh but then I know I have family members who are like, "No, you don't understand. Uh we're going to go into communism if he doesn't win, he's the See, that's, savior." See, that's radical. That's too that's too far. We're not going like, to go into communism. I, I was See, it, it just sounds ridiculous, and you just lose credibility when you say, "Say like we're going to go into some bad times." It's a lot, ba- lot bad easier times. to believe than if you say we're going to go into communism. No, we're not. No, we're not. Promise uh, not, you, we're not. not. Not within. I would say not within in our lifetime. No, no. I could say within our lifetime. No, we're not going well, go to within communism. my lifetime for sure. But bet, let's bet. But, no, no, I don't want that to happen. I I'm know. not going to bet. I don't want that. I'm saying no. It's just uh, throughout time. It's a a a eroding of freedoms it's a slow yeah trickle you know what i mean that that's what i'm saying I, the, I, the the small erosion of our rights yeah when, will be and the, the other person the cr- is volatile and not just volatile oh what would he do it's like what would the other side do what is the, the other side don't give a shit especially if you're if they're not perceived and uh, if they don't have the power they once have what kind of you know backhanded things are they gonna fucking do and and antagonize him and push this guy into a corner and and then he reacts in a in a insane way you know well i don't know i don't uh i kind of don't think that trump's gonna win again right now and i wonder who is gonna be there instead of him i I don't really i it's i don't dislike biden I don't like him either. I think, think he's too old and he's lost it. His fucking brain is fried. He needs to get out of there. Um, he doesn't know what's going on. But I tell you what the problem is, is he probably will get reelected because who's ever running the show, it's not him. Yeah. They like how they can keep pulling his strings. It's going, exactly. He's not running the show. He's not running the show. Well, he Someone said else himself. Is, he and says, they're all there just running it. He said, it. I am the Democratic Party. So he's basically telling you he's running the country. It's a, you know... Uh, a small group that's high in the Democratic Party. That's yeah, who's running the country. The, and all the people, and it's, if they can or still keep the doing what they want, deep state and Soros and all that. I don't know. Yes, that's what it is. Dude. It's one of the two. Let's live in the extremes. But are, are you going to go vote? Yeah. What are you going to vote for? I already said it. RFK. What if he's not on the ballot? Yeah. Then I'm writing Kanye West. You're writing in Kanye? Yeah, I'm going to write Kanye West. That'd be crazy if Kanye won. Put Kanye on there. It's either going to be Kanye West or uh, I'll write in. Who else can I write in? Louis Farrakhan. Those two. One of those two. No, there has to be someone alive. Oh, Louis Farrakhan died? Oh, I thought he was dead. I I think he's alive. Oh, I'm thinking of Malcolm X. Wow, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. (laughs) I'll write in Ron Paul. No, I mean, oh, dude, it's about to be a shit show again, huh? Well, who knows? Who knows? This is this is the extreme I like living in. Is there gonna be an election? <laughs> uh, I, Bill Gates said that there was gonna be a pandemic, and then there was a pandemic. On Forbes, they quoted him saying that he doesn't even think there's gonna be an election because of unrest. Uh, within the United States, and I'm like, well, so he was Bill right about Gates the other thing. Did it? Bill Gates created it. 
I don't know. I don't know. If Bill Gates created it. Created what? He helped create the, the, the pandemic. vaccine. Oh, the pandemic. Yeah. That's that's the conspiracy out there that that he uh, he helped plan this with the World Health Organization. He did. Oh, okay. Well then, there he you go. did. It was Bill Gates, mm-hmm. Jeffrey Epstein, and Diddley. <laughs> and you know what? Crazy enough, they are all connected. They are connected. Yeah. yeah. They, I, I heard they just let R. Kelly out. I didn't know that. That's what someone was telling me yesterday. Because of bird flu? They said that he he Served snitched his on diddle, that he's he's the one that snitched on the, the, the diddler. What? That R. Kelly peed on Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's pissed. No, that 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 R. Kelly uh gig that he was the one that Gave up all this information on Diddy because somehow now uh, R. Kelly got released yesterday. Yeah. Did he? I have no idea. Did I would he? check. I'd no, Diddy. <laughs> if, uh, if you were a one-issue voter, what's that one issue? Marijuana. Yeah. And also, I'd like <laughs> to think this podcast is brought to you by Keefe's Marijuana Dispensary. Actually, <laughs> T-H-C-A. Yeah. This is uh, Keefe's Dispensary. It's over here on... Uh, Bandera in Cincinnati in San Antonio, Texas. I told him to send me the address. I didn't look it up. Uh, but yeah, my, my buddy opened up a dispensary there over there that's sponsoring the podcast. Uh, they have THCA. You can go over there and they have all different strands. Um, and they have gummies. They got this new stuff called diamonds. Have you heard of diamonds? Uh, no. No, it looks like clear, real shiny, like diamonds in a little box. And it's supposed to like 99 point something percent THCA. Yeah. Which is legal now um, until you put fire to it. Um, but yeah, but THCA. So go check out Keefe's Dispensary on Bandera in Cincinnati, in San Antonio. Uh, they didn't give me the address. When did that become legal? Huh? When did that become legal? Um, they've been there for a month now, um, but it's THCA. I know. When did THCA become legal? I don't know, but um, it's legal. They got all their, yeah. their legal. Uh, they got all the certifications. So cops, if you're watching this, ha-ha! on you um but yeah go check them out uh as for jerry the bud tender or janie uh who she abuses the bud tender by beating him and he's terrified if he blinks twice it's probably because he's being abused that day again but go check it out um keith's dispensary um they have uh five dollar grams up to like fifteen dollar grams a week yeah sure. so five dollars um go check out this stuff is pretty good you smell it right yeah yeah uh they have shirts gummies and uh, other kind of stuff um, so yeah, check out Keeps Dispensary. Latest location in the uh, in the description. Yeah. Well, uh, so weed was your one, or are you just saying that for no? The- um, let me see. Um, I don't know. I didn't really think of having just one. If you had one, like you had to place it in order. And the number one. You, this is the number one thing. I have one, ones like for me is like eighty percent. It's a eight war. Is what war? War. If we keep having endless wars, it's like if because well, war war covers a, that puts war, everyone war, war covers a lot. People aren't dying f- from from war, right? That's good. Uh, less pollution, right? That's good, right? Because there's going to be less pollution because less gas, less uh, things being broken down and having to be rebuilt. So you're able to. Um, uh what's it called um conserve okay so what do you so that's so you want to hear them say i don't want war and that's no 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 no, no. i not i hear them say like actually not like have as much war okay but how do you do that until you don't know until you already vote and they're in office well i know biden's not the the president of peace he's not the the warmonger yeah he is the warmonger and trump last time he's president Dropped the biggest bomb since uh, the, In the Nagasaki. I forgot who, what country he dropped it on. It wasn't a nuclear bomb, but it was the biggest oh, I bomb. I thought you meant in the restroom. No, 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 no. All that, that, they've, that they've ever. I was like, oh shit! And it's like I get it. That way you don't have to send people and fight. It's just like, yo, we'll do this to you. But at the same time, it's like that's 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 not the person of peace. And who knows if RFK will? But I know the other two aren't. So who would you vote for when now you're voting for the lesser of two bombers? 
Oh, if I have to vote between one of those two? Yeah. Scrump or Trident. Um, man. I can't. Huh? Yeah, what I, are you going to do? You I can't, can't vote right? for either one of them. Which makes me stupid on both sides. What if what if Killary was in there? Would you vote for Killary? Fuck no, never. Really? She's worse never. than all of them? What about Kamala? I, I, there's, I'm indifferent. What? It, I, I, I don't, don't th- think you like women. Oh, shit. I think that's what it is. You don't like women. I didn't even think about that. When was the last time you voted for a female? Never. That's what it is. Found it out. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, what was her name? The independent, she was... Uh, Tori Poole? No. Oh, what? I thought Spike. you voted for her. Spike TV? No, Spike was her name. That was Spike. her nickname, Spike. You I said think. you would vote for Marjorie Green Taylor. That's Is that who it is? The blonde girl, the, the bad bill, blonde... Barbie. Is the one that was a libertarian? I don't know what she was. I thought there was a one libertarian named Spike on there. No, the one that was just got into it over at the at the big session. They called her a bag, bad bill, butch body bitch. Oh, I don't know who that is. You haven't seen that? No. The margin when she she started, she told the, this one black, pretty black girl that's on there. I guess she's a senator. Yeah. And she said, maybe your long eyelashes are smudging the paper. And you're reading it wrong. That's what that blonde girl, Marjorie Green, t- she's that rowdy bitch that's always stirring up shit. She's a fucking C word yeah. chick. And so uh, she says, I mean, your, eye, your long eyelashes send that. So, and everyone goes, ooh, like, like kids, dude. It's like kindergarten out there, dude. Yeah. And everyone then goes, ooh. And then that girl, the black girl goes, what? What'd you say? So is that what we're doing? And so she gets pissed. So she starts going off when... Uh, what's that? O O A C O A C A O C A O C A O C says, uh, "What are we gonna be calling names? Uh, we need to stop that. We need to address this. Those that needs to be stricken from." And that uh, girl Marjorie's like, "I'm not gonna apologize. You can strike it, but I'm not apologizing for nothing." And she's saying that, and then, and then they go back to the black girl, and the black girl goes, so "She's like, excuse me, excuse me, hold on. I just want to be sure. So is is it okay if I refer to someone as a blonde?" Bad butch, bad body built, uh, and bad that would be built, okay. She didn't say bitch, so uh, she just said a butch, body built, built bad body built blonde. Yeah. She said, oh, you know exactly what she was talking yeah. about, but she just did. So, like, if I just said that out there to someone, is that like okay? And they were like, "What?" And then the dude, one dude, like he was just like, uh, and he went, he had to stop himself from laughing. <laughs> It's roast battle, and then they yeah, and then they just Damn. were like, "Oh, is that what they're not?" They were all arguing like, it, and there's a bunch of kids, bro. They look like a bunch of fucking kids out there, dude. That's who's running our fucking. Now that's it's not, not who's running our country. It, it's not over who's right or wrong. It's they're just married to fucking being on this party to their gang, well, and they're, they're just fucking fighting with each other, think, trying to be a winner. They're, they're right fighting. Think about the people that you went to school with, who were class president and secretary and all that. Those are the same mentality and type of people that are running for you know i didn't know those people at all i had nothing to do with those people just like i don't out here yeah. nothing i didn't know who my class president was i didn't know who nothing nothing did you know who the hall monitor i knew who was? cheerleaders were i knew who did you know who the hall monitor was we didn't have a hall monitor in high school no. middle school did you have a hall monitor i don't know i mean because you knew like DA and stuff like that. <laughs> no, but I mean, I know those, those those were just friends that became lawyers later. Yeah. But the and actually, that friend of mine that was a DA, Nico was, he was messing up back then. Yeah, you know, Nico had to come through a lot. You know, more props to him, dude. He he changed his life. But Nico wasn't that dude that was Mister Proper, that nerd. Did you stay away from him? You know, he's a, nah. Nico was one of the cool ass dudes. Everyone wanted to know Nico, dude. He was popular as shit. And if they used to. Work, he was so popular that they made shirts. Since he worked the door at Planeta Mexico, and everyone would try to get into. I know Nico. Like when if there was yeah. a line, because there was. A, do you remember Planeta Mexico? No. There was a club called Planeta Mexico. It was all the Mexican nationals and badass club though back in the days. And Nico was the doorman there and had ran the security crew. It's like a Grand Central Station thing. But it was it was just one club, but it was just a big spread of a club. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it became a strip club afterwards. Or it was a strip club first, and then it became Planeta Mexico. And uh, they, all the, the dudes were, had, made, had shirts made that said, I know Nico. 
Because everyone would come to the door and say, I know Nico. Can you call yeah, Nico? Yeah, yeah. I know Nico. I know Nico. So everyone was wearing, they all had shirts that said, I know Nico. <clears throat> and like everyone knew Nico and, and before he became DA. And that sucks that they roasted him like that when he became DA because he was only DA for that one term. And then that they came after him saying that he bullied that dude. That dude just got roasted. What dude got roasted? The dude that was, uh, that said that Nico threatened him and bullied him and all this shit. And then that's when Nico lost and that dude won and became the district attorney. And then he just got fucking... Why put, would you want the district attorney to be the guy that got bullied? I know, right? You'd think he'd want to be the, t- the tough guy, you know? That dude went and cried, boo, 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 Nico, so, the, so, then, me. so then that guy Nico is just an attorney now? No, well, yeah, he's he's a badass. Not just he's a badass attorney. He's got his own the the La Hood. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm saying though, firm. and that's a fucking dope name. <laughs> yeah, La Hood. La Hood La yeah. <laughs> There's uh, only two ways you can go with that. Yeah, yeah. He's from La Hood. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and his father was an was an attorney. One of his brothers, his brother ran for county commissioner. Yeah. Or something. He was all over. I think he won. I think he's been, and then, you know, his other brother was uh, all over the news. I was in prison when this happened. It, Shit, everybody I know that I went to high school with whose parents were attorneys are now attorneys. Huh. Uh, but uh, uh, Nico's brother was murdered, dude. Um, Did they find out who the murderer oh, was? Oh, yeah. They, they, yeah, definitely. It was a big, actually, the, the, his brother's case and the dudes that killed him were on uh, one of those documentaries on Netflix about people going to death row, and his uh, case was being uh, um, re-reviewed, and they they commuted the the guy from a death sentence to a life sentence, and Nico was on there, you know, saying how he that that this they the state of Texas caved to political pre- uh, pressure and all this stuff. But what I what I understand the story behind that was that um, Nico's brother and his wife were, I think his the, the wife was coming from a grocery store, and realized that some dudes were following her, and called the brother, which was her husband, and said these guys are following me. I think, and he's and he said, well, when you she had pulled into the driveway or something, said don't get out of the car, and he pulled up too, and walked over to him or something, and they pulled out a gun and shot him. Fuck. Shot him and killed him, and then took his. I think they even then went and took his wallet or some shit or something like that. I don't to know. I might be like a robbery story, huh? To make it look like a robbery? No, it was a robbery. Oh. You know I mean, they they were there to jack him. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't a hit. They were they were there to fucking rob her, but then when he showed up, they went to rob him, um, and they killed him though. And so, I don't know the story's out there. You can find the whole story, but but yeah, I remember when that happened, man. That sucks, dude. Because the anniversary of that was not that long ago. They posted, I remember How many it. years ago was it? Like 96? Because I, I was in prison at the time. And I remember it was a big, big, big story. Because his dad was a big, prominent uh, attorney. But that, that's, yeah, crazy shit, right? That's when you... Um, Think of the people that aren't here that should be here. Like, there's no reason that Nico's brother should have been killed like that for no fucking reason by these dudes. That there was four young black dudes. I think in a stole. I mean, not a stole. In a they had rented a car and were out trying to jack people. Yeah. But you know, I think they were all young, twenty one or younger. And I know. I'm sure if they're still alive. They regret it too, you know. Everyone just, just. Well, I mean, just thinking about how many times. I mean, just the way. That's another one. <laughs> another one got convicted. I'm saying, like, how many times you've literally faced? Oh shit! I'm about to die. Bro, I you know had I mean? someone point a big old fucking gun right at my chest one time. They were sitting in the car. They were. I was stupid. I guess they were following me late at night. And wouldn't stop following me. And like close tailgating me, and I stopped. I just pulled over, and they pulled over on Vance Jackson, and I got out and I walked over to him. And it was about eleven o'clock at night, and I said, and I walked over to him. Two dudes were in the car, 
I said, what's up, man? Is there a reason you're following me like that? And then dude just pointed a big old gun like that. And he goes, no, is there a problem, dude? Like, just fucking this big old gun. I just remember he had a big old revolver just pointed at me, dude. I said, no, my bad. I just turned around and walked back to the car. <laughs> did, you, did he take off right after? No, he just stayed sitting in the car, dude. And I was fucking, that walk back to the car was like, what the don't fuck? Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Yeah, and then I got in, and I, I was, my wife, I was married at the time, Joanne, and then I, remember, I think Stacy was with, with me, I think, and Jason Hernandez. And they were like, what was, what was that? And I go, man, that dude had a big old gun, dude. <laughs> I was Shit. like, fuck, and I just drove off. And Did he follow you? No, no, that was it. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. Was he drunk? Maybe they thought I was someone else, and when I got out and walked up to him, they were like, oh, no, that's not him, you know? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. But that just happened like that, and I was like, God dang, dude. You know, over nothing. And that could have been one of those, what happened? I don't know. He was shot on the side of the road for, must have been a road Shit, rage. In the, if, in the multiverse? In the multiverse? I've been time shot. You were shot. You were shot there. You were stabbed in that prison or that jail oh, yeah, back like, then. Yeah. Dude, I've been, run, I've been hit by a car three times. Um, it would have been four, but I jumped out of the way, and they slammed into a wall. Um. Oh, you're out, you're not in a car. No, I'm out of the car. I've been hit. By oh yeah, car. you got ran over by a jeep. I ran over my leg. I ran over by a jeep. I got hit by a, a little Honda Civic in the parking lot of the Bonham. Mm -hmm. uh, I flew over the hood. I got. Hey, what do you mean by that? Huh? That you got hit in the parking lot at the bottom in the Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> And the podcast turns gay. <laughs> the one that said you got this is where we tell you what's up, or... sucker. Where we're gonna see what's up. No, it was what's on straight night lot? on a Wednesday. Hey, if you gotta call it straight night. Yes. <laughs> you it know was, who that's for? You that's, to for let it know. that's for all the gay guys. That's like, for all the people hey, that went in the eighties. Hey, hey, gay guys, <laughs> come tonight. It's a straight night because this is the night they're coming. On straight night. And on uh, Wednesday, <laughs> um, a big old chingasso fest broke out in the parking lot. Yeah. By that, not a bunch of people have fucking each other. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean Damn. A, a, a big old fight broke out in the parking some lot. Some BDSM broke out into yeah, the parking and lot. Yeah, some ch whips and chains. <laughs> uh, yeah, not that either. Uh, and yeah. this dude just came out of the parking lot in a little fucking uh, Honda Civic, dude. I was Actually, I was squaring off with this big dude. And I didn't even have a beef with him. His buddy sicked him on me. <coughs> and I was kind of like, well, what's up, dude? And and I had one of those, um, those. it was called a, I think it was called a slapjack. Mm -hmm. It was leather with a piece of lead in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had one in my back, in my waist. And so I had it just in case. I was going to fight the other guy regular, but then this big old dude and with a few other dudes, he's, they have him leading the pack now. And they're like, him, hey, and he was coming, what's up, motherfucker? And I was like, all right. And I reached behind me. I was like, what do you got? And I didn't pull it out. I just had reached for it. And what's that? What you got? And I said, well, you're going to find out. You can keep coming, and you're going to find out. And we're standing there just squared off in the parking lot. And, and you see, like, a fucking the front wheels, because Honda Civic's a front-wheel drive. Comes, burr, shoots out of a parking space and just hits me, dude. Boom. And I flip over the hood, dude. Bam. And I hit the ground, dude, and I... Jumped right back up, and that dude had just had to stop. Like, he drove straight out, bam, hit me, and then had to stop because it was then. And I, bam, and I jump up, and he's right there, and the dude's sitting in the fucking little Honda Civic just fucking looking at me like, oh, shit. And I fucking went to pop him, and the dude that I was squaring off with, I didn't you. just come, just fucking takes me down, dude. Bam, bam, they're fucking whooping my ass. And... uh my friend starts shooting. Bah, 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 bah. Well, I had that thing. I was they weren't whipping my ass because I was getting. I had that thing and I was getting some good fucking shots in. Um, but there was three of them. But I was getting that one dude and then pa 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 pa. And one of my friends started shooting up in the air and everyone fucking scattered and got the fuck out of there. But yeah, that one and saying I got. Right I only up. went to the bottom one time and we went up all the way. I don't know. Uh, to the first, third floor? To the third, yeah, and they were having a drag show. That's gay. That's the drag gay show. There's no straight night on the on the third floor. Oh, I, I found that uh -huh. out because uh, this little lesbian and her girlfriend. They call it the third floor so because it's gaka. Surrounded. I was with my wife, well, girlfriend at the time, and she just kept looking me your up and down. Your wife and your girlfriend at the time? Yeah, my wife and my girlfriend. She was both. Yeah. And so she just kept looking me up and down like that. Like she, a he, she? Like she went, no, it was just a, it was a chick. It was a chick, like five foot, 
with her hat backwards with her girlfriend, her tall, beautiful girlfriend, and she's looking at my girlfriend like she wants her to. Oh. And she keeps like just mean so mugging. She, she had a box cutter knife with your name on it. And so when she was doing that, I thought I was just like, oh, I'll be funny. And like grabbed uh Marissa and I hid behind her and I was like, uh and I went like that. Oh, and she was like and she walked off and I was like, this is a lose lose. Yeah. This is a lose lose. You're supposed to do punch her. Yeah, I know, because you're gonna hit me and it's gonna hurt, but you're not gonna knock me out. Like you're not gonna get me on the floor. And if I hit you, I'm fucked. Every all these all these six foot six drag queens are gonna come stomp me. There's they, there's a lose lose in this. Did they have um, they used to have a, a best chess contest at midnight at the bottom. They had a taco truck that I went and I was there for a good hour and a half just eating. And then we left in the yeah, but no bullshit though. In the bubble room. I don't know what the bubble room is, but there's bubbles in there. We they didn't have that. I've never seen that. Never seen been, a bubble room? I, in in the bottom? Yeah. There was a room and oh. everybody's dancing. And there was bubbles. They, they never had it before is what I'm saying. So, oh. But they did have multiple rooms and all the levels there. <clears throat> they had one room full of TVs. One wall is all TVs. Um, and had, no bullshit, though. The Bonham was the best club in San Antonio in the, the late 80s, the 90s. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving, dude, if you weren't there at that club, yeah. that Wednesday, dude, you were nobody. Huh. it was fucking on dude and, and it was 50 cent drinks on wednesday yeah so and then we had friends that bartended there too friends from high school that bartended there did they also have the dudes dancing above the bar or well, around the bar well they had chicks and but there was always gay people because there's still a couple but it was straight night but there was mostly chicks no oh. wednesday it was chicks yeah. it was college night too it was college straight night and it was chicks and there'd be you know the groups of gay people that hung out because their buddies were bartenders there too you know yeah. um but not it was it wasn't overwhelming it was straight people you could it was straight night now i never went on a on an off night i had gone to like the wild club was another club that we, there was this group of girls that we used to hang out with i went on a friday yeah that's straight fucking flamer night dude fucking. i found out yep you learned how to and dance i was and i remember going in being like, this dude's in a speedo checking IDs. What the fuck? And then we walk in, and there's dudes dancing on the bar. And I was like, and I looked at Marissa like, hey, where the fuck you bring me? Yeah. That, and then she's like, well, have fun. And I was like, all right. Did you learn how to kiss that night? No, I didn't learn no. how to kiss. But, but, uh, but, but, there's a lot of but. No, I was just, I was, <laughs> it was different. But, it, um, yeah, it was 50 cent drinks. It was a fun night. And so it was, it was, that was the best club, and we used to go out there, dude. And every Wednesday was bottom. You go to the bottom because they had a they had a line for uh, under twenty one, and then they had the over twenty one line. Yeah. So you could get in. Like, but sometimes that line would be around the fucking building on both both sides, dude. And like everyone just waiting to get in there, dude. And I don't miss that at all. I don't now. Trying trying to get into a club, and it's only been one time, and it was here in San Antonio. Because I never went to clubs. And if I did go to a club, it's because somebody knew somebody and we're all going to get in. And I remember going to this uh, one club here in San Antonio off of 1604. Uh, the Tony Parker's brother used to go there all the time. And apparently the mayor's brother used to go there all Picks. the time. I don't know. There was, it was like, it was, on the, it was like on the, yeah, multi, but it was like, there was one on one side and one on the other side. And they're named after, I don't forgot what, Miami Bar or some shit like that. I mean, not Miami mm -hmm. Bar. But anyway. Uh-huh. So that was the only time that I was just like, oh, yeah, I'll just go to the club. And I go. And then, like, I feel like a fucking moron because I'm standing outside with, like, another 40 people. And I keep seeing people get in. And I'm just waiting in line, right? And I'm like, I, I don't want to be here. Fuck this. I don't. Because you're just a regular Joe. I'm just a regular Smoke dude. Exactly. And there. every time I, I took it for granted because every time I went, it was with somebody who knew somebody. And I would get in. I know the DJ, whatever it is. So I never had, I never understood that. And I would always see people wait in line and I'd be like, what the fuck? Why would you wait in line to get in here? And I had to wait in line and I fucking waited for like an hour. DJ, and you did it? And I finally got in. And when I got in, it was empty. 
I'm talking about like there's 50 people in there. And I'm like, why the fuck are we waiting? That's what, like, that pissed me off so much. Like, I didn't, I was just like. Uh, and they were just making people wait to be dicks? Uh, I think there might have been somebody kind of famous or something in there. But we had to wait. And yeah, I it's, just, it's, it's hard for me to go out. Give me a shitty bar. I don't even want to be at diner. the place any, anymore. Yeah, I don't want to be I, at a, a place like that anymore that's that. No, it's that packed. But if I am gonna give go me a comedy in there, club, I'd rather be at a comedy there's club. There's got to be a reason. Like yeah. I've I've got to be able to have VIP access to it. Like I've got to be with on a tour where I'm the entertainment, or I'm with the entertainment. I can't go. To, I can't in. wait in line for a comedy show. Like I'm gonna go buy tickets to see. Like unless it's like Chappelle. Like, but to go to yeah, a comedy club, I'm gonna yeah, buy tickets. I don't blame you, dude. And then I'm gonna wait in line. I'm gonna sit in. And you're, uh, fuck that. I can't. I don't. I don't like. Oh, to I don't do want to do that at all. Yeah, it's, like, it's kind of ruined us getting this uh, carte blanche backstage. You know, um, doing comedy. It's ruined me for regular shows. I know it's definitely ruined Juan. Um, you know, he doesn't want to be treated like a regular person. You know, I might do it for music because I, I haven't really been to a concert but i'm saying just like a club like i'm going to a club yeah. and it's uh, we're gonna go for what? down to the club to it's fucking for what the dance club has got a good no know. ugh sounds awful yeah i'm not i'm not i don't want to do it either Shit. Well, what shows you got coming up what shows do i got coming up um let's see this sunday sun was good at lol that was fun this sunday i'm at lol uh, uh this is you past sunday oh yeah oh yeah we killed it dude yep looking good set dude I, thank you I, I, I feel like i did a better set than yours but that's all right i'm on competing. everyone said dude that i was <laughs> when we every there. person everyone there said yeah fucking, i had 34 indictments of funny <laughs> uh I got that. Then I'm doing. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be in Victoria coming up, and then I'm doing a show. I think with Blair in Victoria for Joey's okay. birthday. <clears throat> and then I've got. Um, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm doing. Um, when Raul, Raul's headlining. Remember he said, uh, "LOL." Do you know what? No, I don't is know. That what Father's day. day or something. Father's Day. Is it on Father's Day? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on that show. I'm featuring for him. Fuck yeah. June 16th. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm headlining. I mean, featuring for Raul on that one. So, yeah. Oh shit! June sixteenth, I will be in at Roscoe's. Where's Roscoe's? Roscoe's is in Austin, Texas. I'll be at Roscoe's doing the Father's Day show. Okay, dope. Yeah. Well, man, uh, I just want to say once again, man, shout out to my boy Richard Ochoa, dude. I'm gonna miss you, bro. Miss you already, man. Talking that shit, I could hear. Hey, asshole. Rest in peace, my brother, dude. I love you, dude. Peace. Man.